really regularly in Alaska on the Iditarod Trail. And it's super common to have minus 10, minus 20, minus 30, minus 40 degree temperatures. And from about zero to minus 10, it feels cold. And everyone knows what that feeling feels like. It's like, ooh, it's cold, I need to do something. When it gets minus 20 and, and below, to me it feels like pain, not like cold. It's actually a different sensation. You know, if you take your glove off and expose your hand, it doesn't feel cold, it just instantly hurts. It's almost like if you stuck your hand in a beehive and just were instantly being stung. That's what the cold feels like to me when your skin is exposed to it. If something doesn't go right and you have to stop, you have to go to the bathroom, you have to fix a flat, you have to try to eat something, that's where the consequence gets really high. And there were definitely sections in the race this year where we didn't eat for 10, 12 hours or didn't drink any water because literally you couldn't pull your face mask down to expose your face to put the food in your mouth.